everybody and welcome to another wonderful episode of Anne's Food Show. It's my pleasure to be a host on this show, of course. My name is Anne. So today I am talking about something that I hold dear. And if you follow me on Facebook online, you know that I am an ardent coffee drinker. I enjoy coffee to the fullest. There's no, I'm not going to beat about the bush. I love coffee. Whether it's good or bad, some people say it's good, some people say it's bad. But whether, for whatever it's worth, I love it. So that only stands to say we have to talk about coffee today. And on the show today, I have a guest who is actually a specialist in that area, marketing it. So who better than to tell us much more about coffee than the man himself? Welcome to the show. Thank you. And um, as I just said, I am an ardent, avid coffee drinker. How about yourself? Same. You love coffee also. In fact, <laughs> I think uh, coffee is a beverage. Mm -hmm. And uh, normally it's good for everyone to take coffee. Okay. Yeah, but I love coffee. Okay. In Excellent. fact. Yeah. And yeah. I've uh, been in coffee. I've been drinking coffee since 16 years today. Okay. Okay, excellent. I love it. Well, before we go on too far about coffee, just tell us a bit about who you are. What's your name? Yeah, uh, my name's uh, Fungu Peter, mm -hmm. uh, Northwest Cooperative. Okay. I'm the marketing officer. Okay, the marketing officer for Northwest Cooperative, Cooperative Association. Association. Limited. Okay. Yeah. And what does that association do? What does that cooperative do? Actually, it's a uh, a farmer organization mm -hmm. uh, which was created in 1950 mm -hmm. uh, in the northwest uh, uh, region of Cameroon mm -hmm. with over uh, 35,000 members. Okay. And in fact, uh, this organization has been evolving. Okay. From the inception on to what it is today. Okay. okay. In fact, uh, coffee, as you see it, is a, a product where almost everybody in the Northwest here had been educated, yes. had uh, uh, been uh, 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 wherever they are today, actually, is because of coffee. Because of coffee. Yeah. Okay. So the, the, the cooperative uh, today currently uh, farms just coffee, or are there other products that are linked with the cooperative? Yeah, coffee is not uh, in the Northwest uh, grown uh, in an, an open area, mm -hmm. but it is interspersed with uh, fruit trees, mm -hmm. color nut trees, mm -hmm. which uh, actually these color nut trees act as they are taller and right. they act as a shade, a shade. Mm -hmm. right? Uh, preserving and preventing the Scottish sun getting into the coffee trees. Okay, okay. Right. And so then what does that do for the quality of the coffee? Uh, actually, uh, concerning the quality as uh, the color nut trees, mm -hmm. in fact, uh, they bring in life to the coffee in okay. the sense that the leaves, mm -hmm. when they drop, yes. they act as nutrients to the coffee. To the soil. To the soil okay. and the roots check the erosion. Okay. Okay. All that gives the coffee today the flavor that it has, Ooh, an uh -huh. African flavor, uh -huh, uh -huh. which you need to test. Okay, absolutely. And that's what I'm having right In now, fact. Cola Coffee, actually. Good. So then the name uh, of the brand of coffee for Northwest Coffee Association, Northwest Cooperative Association, Association Limited. is uh, Cola Coffee. Good. Okay, and what does that, does that have to do with anything with the cola trees? Yeah, as I said, uh, in African tradition, he who brings color brings, brings life. life yes. And therefore, color coffee brings life to the coffee, the coffee. itself, the coffee bean. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Because the, it makes the color beans bolder. Yes, absolutely. Yes. And gives the absolute flavor that we have. Right. The right. natural flavor. Mm -hmm. Which, in fact, I think when you brew it here, almost everybody sitting within the room here. It's easy to, <laughs> to have a test of it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So now um, we have two types of beans here. And uh, 
I, I drink the coffee, but I'm not the expert of which beans is what beans. So can you tell us which, what is what? And uh, I see two different types. With my naked eye, I can't really tell. Yeah, but actually the Northwest uh, Cooperative of Certain Farmers, mm -hmm. uh, the farm, we have two types of coffee. Right. You have the Robusta, uh -huh. let's start with the Robusta, which is uh, uh, produced within the region mm -hmm. in almost all the divisions of the region. Mm -hmm. And uh, Arabica, which is more, okay. mostly grown, because more of it, more of the coffee grown within the region is Arabica. Right. Yeah, right. because of the climatic conditions. Okay. Because okay. Robusta does well in a little bit hot, hot areas, area. warm areas. But Arabica coffee is grown within an altitude of 1,200 to 2,200 above sea level, the altitude okay. of growth. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. and that is why we have in the world today one of the best coffees that mm -hmm. comes from this very high altitude. Ah, because see. coffee from the lowlands yes. and coffee from the, the higher highlands. altitude has a little bit of difference. Yeah, it's almost like uh, chocolate, you know, cocoa beans from highlands, wherever you grow it, it mm. varies, yes. Good. And I think that uh, being that the coffee, the cola trees fertilize the soil, that means we don't use much fertilizer. Anymore. In fact, it's uh, really organically mm -hmm. grown. Okay. Organically grown because very little or no fertilizers are used. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's excellent. So, um, I've been enjoying this bold flavor of coffee all along. But what we'll do now, we'll step in the kitchen segment and we'll actually make some other drinks because I know there's a lot of people who like the smell of coffee but they can't really take like a full body coffee, That's per right. se. But they might want other drinks. So, don't go away, stay with us. We'll continue in the kitchen and we'll do some coffee drinks that anyone can do at home really simple and very tasty also stay tuned Anna's food show your favorite food and lifestyle show the assurance for your well-being welcome back to the show and we're in the kitchen for our uh, recipe section and I have a few recipes that we're going to do so it's very informative I hope you have a paper and pen the first one we're going to do is with milk, hard candy, or caramel, uh, caramel sweets, if you call it that, and um, coffee. So to start that off, I, I hope you enjoy, you, I know you enjoy black coffee, exactly. as it is. Yeah. But I, I'm not sure if you've delved into caramel flavored coffee and all that. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. Okay, we'll experience this together today. So we'll start this out about with um, about a cup of coffee of milk rather, and uh, get the heat on, Ooh. and we put the candies inside so that it melts. Okay. So now this is where if you have a little kid at home, you can get them involved in the kitchen because they want to stir. Yes, and it stirs and it melts down the candy. So while I'm waiting for this to stir down, can you just tell us how do my beans get from being brown or green rather to coffee, granulated coffee that we end up brewing? Yeah, but actually, when the beans, as uh, you said, mm -hmm. when they, when the farmers harvest the coffee mm -hmm. and have the ripe cherries, mm -hmm. these cherries are pulp, same day, okay, and uh, fermented, mm -hmm. washed, and dried. Okay. D not dry on bare ground, but dry on elevated mats or dried on tarpaulins. Okay. Why from would they be dried on an elevated mat? Yeah, uh, you know, it's, coffee is very sensitive yes. to whatever that is within its environment. Okay. So, when once you put it on bare ground, it absorbs. I see. Okay. So, it actually, uh, the quality of the coffee is destroyed. Destroyed, okay. As okay. soon as it's on bare ground. Yes, yeah. yes. 
Then the coffee, uh, after drying, you come out with what you call parchment. You have yeah. parchment coffee. Mm -hmm. I know it's a little bit uh, that people <laughs> will not be able to understand. Yeah. This That's parchment okay. is now it's, it's processed yes. to get out the white sh uh, the white skin. Okay. okay. To come out with the beans as right. you saw them in okay. the green okay. form. At that level, that is when the coffee, uh, the green beans, are now roasted. Yes. We roast them. There's a small machine that we have, mm -hmm. which is a uh, bit more than my age. Oh wow! Very old. Okay. And, uh, uh, so you're implying that you're very old. In fact, <laughs> I should be. Okay. So uh, the coffee is roasted there. Uh huh. Uh, grind because what we are using in grinding is not really a coffee grinder, but in fact, what we have with us to use, mm -hmm. what we can use mm -hmm. in grinding the coffee, okay. and then you bring it to the level at which we can uh, we can consume, mm -hmm. or it is now uh, like put a brew. like a brew. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And now, uh, most people, what does it take to make a good co a good pot of coffee? Uh, you have these, what you call a percolator, coffee maker. a coffee maker. Yeah. And uh, about, this is probably about, uh, well, in my size of cup, <laughs> this yeah. is probably about <laughs> three cups right three cups, here. Three cups, in fact. <laughs> but three cups. Well, about four of these this types of yeah. 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 And it takes about how many tablespoons you recommend for that amount? Because uh, I do mine really strong, but on an average. Yeah, averagely, we could take about three, three teaspoons. 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 Tablespoons, uh -huh. not teaspoons. Yes. Tablespoons. Uh -huh. Yeah, for that quantity of uh, coffee. Some okay. people may even uh, do it more, as you have yeah, said. Yeah, that you enjoy I do mine rather strong. Yeah, you do it uh, uh, strong, but mm -hmm. normally with our people who are still learning coffee, yes. because we have introduced it and made, make sure that our farmers know that this coffee has no other use okay. than drinking, brewing it and drinking. So like because in the past, they believed that the coffee was meant for maybe for selling, for selling exporting mm -hmm. only. Okay. But today, they are gradually being introduced into it, and most of them, they love it. So they themselves should become consumers of, of the their product. own product. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, so this is, this is your... This is the ground coffee that's we're right. talking about here. In fact, the flavor yeah. is taking me off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very bold and bright. Well, I don't know about bright. They're very bold, full body. In fact, but do you know something? Mm -mm. Coffee, as you see it, as it is. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's, uh, you will not believe me, that is uh, the second uh, taken liquid after water in the well. After is water, it, is that? I know I drink a lot of coffee, but yeah. the second most consumed liquid it after good. water. Good, yes, and wow. a, again, traded commodity after oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, coffee. Okay. Uh, so the heavy producers of coffee, obviously, uh, in uh, what part of the world? In fact, uh, we have Brazil. Mm -hmm. We have Colombia. Mm -hmm. We have. Uh, 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 Kenya, Kenya in Africa, mm -hmm. Ethiopia from where the coffee was founded, that is coffee originated yeah, from, from Ethiopia, Ethiopia from Africa. Yes, that's it goes spreading around the world. Yeah. 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 Well that's good. At least we, we are founders of many things in Africa, including coffee. Actually. <laughs> actually. Okay. All right. Now all that candy has uh, melted or you know, dissolved in it. So you see it's really simple to do. Really? So all of it is gone. Good. And all we just do now, we'll add about a quarter cup of coffee to this. I'll just turn the heat off. So we add, that's about, oh, about half a cup. It's and if you brew it really strong, then it, it would actually even be better. <laughs> In my opinion, strong coffee is always better. <laughs> right, 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 that's yeah. right. So I'll pour some of it in here for you. Go ahead and 
top right here. Mm, good. Test free. Excellent. It gives it a, a, a different dimension. You still get In the fact, coffee flavor. Yeah. But you have that added yeah. you know, to the milk. It makes it creamier and the Creamy. caramel in it also. And boy. It's good. It's good. <laughs> okay. Quite good. Ah, uh, okay. I'll go ahead then and pour this onto here so we can go on and do the second one. Okay. The second one is also very simple to do. Now, if you prefer, some people like hot drinks, some, some people like hot drinks, like myself, I like hot coffee, but some people actually like cold coffee. Cold coffee yeah. So you can actually let that cool and you drink it just like that. Okay. Good. So we'll go ahead now and do the next one. No point rinsing. We'll start again with another, about a cup yeah. of milk. This one actually will be a lot easier because we don't have to melt as much and then we're using chocolate paste yeah. and this chocolate paste has hazelnut in it and that's what makes the difference Good. so if you just even smell it you have that nut mm. flavor yeah. from that also that makes a difference excuse me i'll just get a spoon from here and we'll just add couple of healthy healthy tablespoons yeah. in there. <laughs> and we just just let it um, dissolve in. And Cameroon is coffee is still a cash crop very much. Exactly. About what percentage or about what volume, how much coffee do we export? In fact um Today, actually, the uh, quantity has mm -hmm. greatly reduced. Okay. Greatly reduced. Oh. And uh, what is export exported today, both crops, that mm -hmm. is Arabica Robusta, is about 35,000 tons. Okay. Oh. And uh, from the Northwest, we'll just add our coffee. from the Northwest, we are exporting, not the cooperative, yes. but within globally. the region, globally, about five to six to thousand tons oh, wow. of Arabica coffee. Okay, so Arabica comes primarily from the northwest. Yeah, region. from the northwest and the west and region. And the west, okay. Right. Okay. okay, this one was a little bit faster, you know, because you see, it's, it just Ooh. dissolved in all together, and we we'll just put that in right there. Da -da -da. And you can go ahead and enjoy that one also. Ooh. That's nice. <laughs> I think it's it's almost <laughs> having the same, uh, the same in fact. Yeah, because you have the coffee carrying over. Over, carrying okay. Through. Yeah, so if okay. you're not a chocolate person, you like the caramel, that would work. I you think would, yeah. I think in the near future, we'll be able to come out with uh, some of this. Exactly, because yeah. it's like uh, children will be able to get into it. It's a little bit uh, yeah. welcoming. Yeah. But then, you know, there's, there are parents who say that not all children can Drink have coffee. coffee. What yeah. is the age limit? No, actually, I don't, I'm, I'm think, sure I don't think it's very true. The no, caffeine, doesn't it affect them in uh, like well, staying awake or stuff like that? Between 15, 16. Okay. You're able to take coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Okay. I don't okay. think it has any big problem. I'm actually not a doctor or a scientist. Oh, right, right. To right, actually, yeah. <laughs> but I know that within that age, within yeah. 15, 16, yeah. after you, you arrive to get coffee, to take coffee. Okay. Yeah. okay. But then now, what could be the medical advantages of coffee? Yeah, uh, I may cite just a few. Mm -hmm. And while we are talking about that, I'm doing a cold drink with sweetened condensed milk here. We'll just do about two healthy tablespoons in here. Okay. Yep. Maybe even another one. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, but with coffee, okay. you know, it keeps you awake. Yes. Awake actually keeps you awake. 
And coffee is taken at any time. There's no particular period of say coffee should be taken. Well, some people think because that when you feel dizzy, yeah, when you feel a little bit weak, you're dizzy, mm -hmm. you take a cup of coffee. It was back. It was back. back you back. That's you come back to your. Yeah. Nobody but continue. Some and people say after three they can't have any more coffee because it will keep them awake at night. And for me personally, my experience is that. I can drink coffee any time of day and it will not bother me going to sleep. It's just I've been drinking coffee for a very no, long time. Because but I'm just worried about somebody who some people have problems staying up awake. Well, it's with any other crop or whatever, any other, uh, any other drink mm -hmm. or any other thing that you take. Yes. Well, some people may take and have some uh, 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 side, effect. side effects yeah. some will take they wouldn't they will not have exactly. because as you have said i mm -hmm. i take it even when i'm going to bed uh-huh there is no problem okay but when you already nurse that uh, idea in you keep in you mm -hmm. that when i do this i will have this effect definitely you have it okay because if you say i will drink coffee when i drink coffee i don't sleep mm -hmm. or i will not get the sound sleep it will definitely be that, that you yeah. get that result. Okay. But when you drink it just like any other beverage, mm -hmm. I don't think it has an effect. Okay. So this now I just do the sweetened condensed milk and I put the ice cubes in it. And uh, just I just like the way it layers out. And you just stir it. Now this can be like an afternoon sort of a picker upper. So if you're really slouching in the afternoon, it has a little bit of sugar, a little bit of caffeine. Yeah. That can that should spark you up to to normal. Really? So you'll be very well caffeinated today. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I hope so. <laughs> okay. Alright, you go ahead and taste that and you tell us what you think. Is it from hot? Hot to cold. <laughs> to cold. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Good. Nice cool. Cool. Beverage. Actually really cools you Actually. down. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Right, it calms you down. Yes, yes. So but for coffee always calms me down no matter what <laughs> the situation. A cup of coffee early in the morning clears my head later on in the afternoon, balance me balances me out. Sometimes I even take it after dinner, so it, it just helps with my digestion and I can actually go to sleep. That's good. So but that's me, you know. But um well, I'm really glad you were able to come on and tell us a lot about coffee, a beverage that is after my own heart, that I absolutely love. And um, maybe next time you will try this in your office with your colleagues and um, be able to share it with them so they know that coffee is not only a hot brewed beverage, but we can make other drinks. Other drinks, well. so exactly. I hope that you've been able to pick up something very good from this and uh, been able to pick these recipes up. We're going to have these on our Facebook page, Annie's Food Show on Facebook. You can search us and you can also search us on YouTube, Annie's Food Show. So we'll have the recipes on there. I hope you can pick it up. We'll also have a link to their association's website so you can go on there and find out more about the cooperative and all the different regions of Cameroon that they uh, touch or within the different areas within the Northwest region in Cameroon that they touch and they associate with. Stay tuned for our next show. Have a great day and bon <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>